In this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve problems of splitting names in Excel. I was contacted by a firm um, this week and they had um, a list of 40,000 names and they wanted me to split them into first name and last name. And there, that's a pretty easy task. And there's actually, in more recent versions, there's actually a, a, a built-in function to do this. And so um, I thought I can do this, no problem. Um, the names here are out of the random name generator. They're not the names of my 40,000 that I had on the list. So, so I wrote a little code and I will include this code, but it's not a big deal because it's, it's very simple. So um, I've called it uh, split names. And so I'm going to go macros and I'm going to go split names and I'm going to run it. And so it looks like it's working perfectly except for the people that are entering that were not very consistent. So they have D and L Evans. And so it's looking for the space between them. And so we have D and then we have and L Evans as the last name, which isn't going to work out. And then further down, so we have that again right here. <clears throat> and then further down, they, they put John and Paula with an ampersand in between. And so the last name is and Paula Kim. And so, uh, Let's show you how I fix this. And um, what I did is I wrote another script and it's called initials. And so I'm going to run that one. And so it's, we'll go here and we'll run it. And now if we go back to the top, you can see that it has fixed up the S and T and the Sarah and Brent and the D and L. It's fixed up these ones that are in between with the ampersand in between there. And so let me show you the script that I, I did this with. Okay, and so the first script is split names. I will include this in the, in the description of my video, but it's not a big deal. It's pretty simple. The second one is initials. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I've declared row and column, row and column as long and row as long place. Place is a spot within the string. Add is a piece that I'm going to add to the first name. And temp is what I is going to turn out to be the last name. My string is a, as a string. And so the end row is basically working from the bottom up. And so now we're concerned with column three. And column three is our last name here. So this is where we would have had the, here we would have had Ann T. George. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, for row two to end row, in sheet the um, the first name is uh, sheet one, uh, row column two. So whatever's in column two is our, our first name. Now we're going to um, select the column three, so that's where our last name is. So that's where the the last names are have the ampersand in the letter. And so then we're going to go through all the cells in um, in row three, and we're looking for active cells that start with an ampersand. And that's usually indi that's indicating which ones have the the error in them. And then we're going to call whatever's in that string. We're going to call it my string. And then what we're doing is we're looking for the first space after the ampersand. So the amp so you have an ampersand and then you have a space, and then you have at least one initial afterwards. And so I counted three over there because that has to be three. So I'm saying in string, starting at, <clears throat> excuse me, starting at the third spot, look for the blank. Okay, and then, so that is, that is we've determined that is the place, so that's the place where it starts. And then we go um, <clears throat> add, and we're putting a space here, and, and left my string, place. So we're, what we're doing is we're putting, um, we're putting a space in and then at the left of the first name column, we're putting in what we've determined um, as the place, the, the letters after that, that either are the initial or the first or the last name, first name. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the last name field. So we want to take off the and ampersand and the first name. And so what we're doing is we're taking my string and we're minusing this, the place, so the, the place that we've determined. 
And so now we say active cell value equals temp. So now we've adjusted that and we've moved it over. And then we're going to adjust um, the first name. So what we're going to do is the first name field, which we've declared up here. And then we're going to add, go with the first name, whatever's in the field, plus add. And that's what we determined with the place up here. And then we saw assign sheet one cells R2, which is the first name field, to the first the new first name that we just determined. I will, of course, include the, all this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.